I just got it zoomed all the way out this time. My camera won't zoom in or out while it's running. <laughs> See, because it's already smoking, so you're probably creating enough heat as it is. You just need to get that notch filled up. So you're already starting to get that filled up, so try not to knock this. Oh, try not to jiggle it. Or Otherwise else you'll knock, knock it. it out and you just have to start over. That's the thing I noticed. Because I'd get tuckered out by the time I filled up that notch. Yeah, and it's like, ah, and I just want to get even, away from it. And it's like, wouldn't even think, and I would knock the dust out of there. Well, I'm just going to try it that way and see. Yeah, it's like almost just be very gentle with it. You want another knot? You want me to trim that down again? Uh, yeah, I'll see. I'll see. If okay. I'm... One thing about this box elder is uh, I've already made two fires with that, two embers with that same hole, and it's not even beginning to burn all the way through that board. So it's a harder material, but you could get a lot more fires out of the same board and spindle for that matter. But it requires a little more work. Yeah, I think you need to press down just a little bit more. Yeah, because I was trying to not press down as much, and then it wasn't enough. Yeah, so it's like a Cause what, fine line between too much and not enough. The way I'm positioned, my bearing block arm around my knee and my shin, it's almost like I'm leaning down to do the pressure. And my leg is maybe doing more of the actual pressure. Yeah, it's just your arm is more just keeping it steady, I guess, yeah. or holding it. I'm just I'm just using my upper arm to hold my hand against my shin. Yeah. Still, it won't take much because it's almost half full. Oh, all the way up from the wood, you mean? Yeah, because yeah. 
once it gets about halfway it fills up pretty quick it seems I think that might be getting polished on the end though and uh oh it might not be doing yeah I'm gonna try one more and see I press them down just a little harder. Just a little slowly, gradually. Yeah, see that's sounding better. It's making more of a scraping sound. And it's starting to fill. Here goes my brother giving this one more try. For some reason this paracord is wanting to ride up on the spindle. I've never had that happen before except with one other piece of cord. So I'm not sure if it's the cord that makes it do that or uh, the user or what. Because <laughs> it, it was wanting to ride up on me too. I was kind of having to fight with the bow just to keep it from riding up the spindle. But he actually, he almost had an ember after his uh, first full attempt, but he stopped just short. Now he's kind of switched up arms a little bit. And we'll see if that makes a difference. setup of my arms well it's making more dust I see already yeah because it seemed to smoke a lot faster that time so I'm not into the high-tech gear, but I gotta say that paracord is pretty, uh, pretty tough stuff. We've been uh, going at this for quite a while now. I've, I've made uh, two, yeah. two embers. And my brother's almost made one. Plus, he's gave it several other attempts. I gave it several attempts before. Well, it's not and, even afraid uh, a bit. This paracord hasn't even started to wear out. We weren't getting much powder buildup, so I went ahead and trimmed off. Uh, I went ahead and trimmed off the burnt, polished end of the spindle. And uh, now it's making powder real good if you can just uh, keep it in there. It's probably a little tougher to spin it now because that's not made it up so well. Before it was pretty much like a ball bearing. <laughs> Yeah, it does keep wanting to ride up, and I, I think it's how I keep t 
twisting the bow or something or doing something with the bow that causes it? It could be. It looked like you were kind of pulling up when you went back. That's what I'm thinking. I'm watching and trying to make sure I go straight, but if I really concentrate, then it seems not. And then it's like right when I try to go a little bit faster or whatever, then it seems to do it. The spindle where it meets the bearing block is starting to get worn too, so that might be why it's slipping out on you. Yeah, see, because when you get the technique right, it's like it instantly starts smoking a ton. Yeah, and I'm not really increasing my speed or pressure. I'm just kind of keeping nice and steady. And once it starts smoking real a lot, and I see that notch is full, that's when I try to give it a little more pressure. Yeah, because that was like... A little like, more speed. Because that seemed like no time. And when I was trying, it's like, man, I'd just be going and going, it seemed like. And <coughs> it seemed like a long time. Maybe it wasn't, but it's like... Yeah. So it's all about consistency, I think. Consistency in the speed and the pressure and everything. Yeah. Not, not moving it or changing it. Just very steady. I mean, I actually... <coughs> I don't even think I need to increase the speed... But once I have all that smoke, I figure if I just give it a little more speed, then that's just that little extra. a little better chance that it's well, made an ember. Yeah, because that time I noticed when you started speeding up, you actually weren't doing as long of strokes with it. So I don't know if it was actually going any faster, I guess. Because you were doing faster, shorter ones instead of long, steady ones. So. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Huh. That's the third ember with the same hole and the same notch. And uh, it looks like I may be able to get one or more, one or two more out of that same uh, same hole in the fireboard. Well, it seems like the same as the first one, where if you just left it there, it's going to catch the the wood that it's on, you know, it's going to start making that be the ember almost. Yeah, I mean, if you blew on this. Because that's a good size ember yeah, there. Yeah, so almost just go and get a good size pile. Is that camera zoomed in? No. I mean, there's some ember right there even. But I've already blown this one away pretty much, but... Yeah, I mean, it's... It was a big enough ember, it actually uh, caught this little piece of box elder. It's almost just, I mean, even go a little bit extra and just sit there and get a bigger pile of the dust before you try to get it lit, just get a big old pile on that piece of wood, because that, that was a decent sized pile, I think, that you had on it. And that's the board burning now.